is Foranavirus and how to prevent it. Foranavirus is a respiratory disease, which seems to start with a fever, followed by a dry cough. After a week, it leads to shortness of breath and some patients require hospital treatment. These symptoms do not necessarily mean you have the illness. In medical terms, coronaviruses, cough, are a large family of viruses that cause illness ranging from the common cold to more severe diseases such as Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, MERS cough, and Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, SARS cough. A novel coronavirus cough is a new strain that has not been previously identified in humans. According to many people, coronaviruses are similar to the much more common viruses such as colds and flu. A few important questions you may need to know about coronaviruses. 1. From which object has coronaviruses been transmitted? They are transmitted between animals and people. According to scientists, coronaviruses are zoonotic. SARS cough was transmitted from civet cats to humans and MERS cough from dromedary camels to humans. 2. What are the common signs of infection? Common signs of infection include respiratory symptoms, fever, cough, shortness of breath and breathing difficulties. 3. What is the incubation period? And for how long? The incubation period between infection and showing any symptoms lasts up to 14 days, the World Health Organization, WHO, says. But some researchers say it may be up to 24 days. 4. What are the serious complications caused by coronaviruses? In more severe cases, coronavirus can cause pneumonia, severe acute respiratory syndrome, multiple organ failure, and even death. 5. Who is more likely to get worse when attacked by coronaviruses? Older people and people with pre-existing medical conditions such as asthma, diabetes, heart disease are more likely to become severely ill. 6. What are the standard recommendations for preventing coronavirus infection? Standard recommendations to prevent infection spread include regular hand washing, covering mouth and nose when coughing and sneezing, thoroughly cooking meat and eggs. Avoid close contact with anyone showing symptoms of respiratory illness such as coughing and sneezing. 7. How many different types of coronaviruses have been identified? The scientists said that all seven different coronaviruses have been identified. Most people will be infected with at least one type of coronavirus in their lifetime. 8. What is the way this virus spreads? The viruses are spread through the air by coughing and sneezing, close personal contact, touching an object or surface, contaminated with a virus and rarely by fecal contamination. 9. What are the types of human coronaviruses that have been reported to cause serious symptoms in history? Human coronaviruses that have been reported to cause severe symptoms include the MERS cough or the beta coronavirus that causes Middle East Respiratory Syndrome or MERS SARS cough or the beta coronavirus that causes Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome or SARS and the new 2019 novel coronavirus. 2019 cough outbreak that began in Wuhan, China. 10. How to protect yourself against coronavirus. The COVID-19 coronavirus outbreak is a new illness and scientists are still assessing how it spreads from person to person, but similar viruses tend to spread via cough and sneeze droplets. When an infected person coughs or sneezes, they release droplets of saliva or mucus. These droplets can fall on people in the vicinity and can be either directly inhaled or picked up on the hands, then transferred when someone touches their face, causing infection. For flu, some hospital guidelines define exposure as being within 6 feet of an infected person who sneezes or coughs for 10 minutes or longer. 11. How to protect yourself and others. Wash your hands, wet your hands with clean, running water and apply soap. Lather your hands, including the backs, between your fingers and under your nails and scrub for at least 20 seconds. Rinse. Cover your mouth and nose with a tissue when you cough or sneeze, then throw the tissue in the bin and wash your hands. If you do not have a tissue to hand, cough or sneeze into your elbow rather than your hands. Seek early medical help if you have a fever, cough and difficulty breathing, and share your travel history with healthcare providers. If visiting live markets in affected areas avoid direct, unprotected contact with live animals and surfaces that have been in contact with animals.
If you have returned from an affected area in the last two weeks, stay indoors and avoid contact with other people for 14 days. This means not going to work, school or public areas.
for watching this video. Please subscribe, like for the channel so we can continue to make other videos for you watching and keep track of new developments. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like and share.